As you know, my birthday is this week, and I've been getting a lot of amazing letters from my viewers. Thank you. So I want to read uh, one of the letters that I've gotten. The Good morning, Miss Ellen. My name is Noah Copeland, and I'm a supply officer in the United States Navy. First of all, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I'm currently deployed overseas, but I make sure my girlfriend keeps me up to date on what's happening with the show. My beautiful girlfriend, Mora, has got to be your biggest fan. She watches your show every day, and I know that you're the reason that she's been able to get through this deployment. I was supposed to come back at the end of January, but things keep getting pushed back, and now I'm not sure when I'm going to be home since I can't be be there with her. I know nothing would make her happier than getting to celebrate your birthday with you at your show. Either way, thanks for keeping my girl company while I'm away. We love you. And Mara's here. Come here, Mara. Hey, Mara. Where do you live? Oh, oh here. Let me give you <laughs> that. Um, I live in San Diego, California uh -huh. right now, but um, we moved here um, about a year and a half ago from, from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. So you moved to San Diego, and then he got deployed pretty much right away, right? Yeah, like How, five months after. We five moved. months after. Yeah. So did you have friends there? Did you know anybody there? No, so it was all just really all of a sudden, like, he went into work on a Friday, and then um, he came home from work that Friday, and they were like, you are going on Sunday. So he had two, ba two days to pack up his whole life, basically, oh. and just leave for a year. And he's been gone for over a year right now. Yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah. so hard. Yeah. And where is he now? Um, it's called Diego Garcia. It's an island, like, in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And there's not, it's like a military-owned island. So even if I wanted to go visit, I can't go visit him. And he, can, he and, can't come And you come can't home. meet halfway or anything? No. Oh my god. So, so you watch the show. And does he also watch the show, or do you make him watch Watch the show. No. <laughs> I'm like a huge fan. I, I can't even believe this is happening right now. But um, he, I, because I'm such a fan, I made him a fan. Basically, we've been watching together while he's been away. I will FaceTime him when I'm watching, and he, you wait. You're FaceTiming while you're watching the yeah. show, and so he's watching it with you FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. That's expensive, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, I know. That's so sweet. <laughs> All right. And so when is he coming home? I, he just said it keeps getting pushed back. But yeah, we, we don't know. Um, so Especially because the government just shut down all the flights that we're leaving there got canceled and he can't leave, so I have no idea when he's coming home. You know, you, the ripple effect of the government getting shut down, it's, you think it's one thing and it's like, even that, that's yeah. horrible. It's really sad. All right, well, he said he wanted you to be at my birthday show, right? Yeah. This is not my birthday show, I <laughs> but I want you to be at my birthday show. No way. So bring Maura the tickets to the birthday show. What? Yes! <laughs> surprise her. Uh, she loves you. She loves you to death. Uh, first of all, I want to say happy birthday. Thank happy you. Happy early birthday. Thank you. But, you know, she was on, I was on deployment for a year, and she's by herself in San Diego. Her sister lives in L.A., and I just wanted to do something special to her, for her. But my friends, when they come back off deployment, they're on the pier, and their girlfriends are there, and we, we weren't able to get that, so I just wrote in, and it happened. It and it happened. Awesome. It happened. We made it happen. That's so good. So uh, you had a trip planned. Was it for your honeymoon? You were going to go somewhere, right? Um, just like because he's been gone so long, we wanted to do something special when he got home. So we were going to go to Puerto Rico. And actually, um, it, I saw the episode. Well, I watch every episode. But the episode with Ricky Martin when he went to Puerto Rico. And we obviously had to cancel that trip because they're yeah. in shambles still. But. Um, it just, I texted him, I was like, oh my God, I just watched Ellen, like, this is so sad. These poor people have absolutely nothing. Like, they, 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 I can't even believe how they're being treated. It yep. just made me really sad. And I told him, we have to do something. So we took all the money that we had spent towards that trip and we donated it to Ricky Martin's Fund for Puerto Rico. <laughs> That's, all you That's amazing. I mean, we just wanted to do whatever we could. I, I knew that our trip wasn't going to work out there. And yep. just seeing those people and the animals and everything. They, I mean, there's people that have been out of power, even are still out of power still, right now. It's still. Just, it's so sad. I yeah. can't believe it. So. Well, you're very sweet to do that. And I just love the two of you. I can't give you a gift because you're not allowed to accept anything because you're in the military, but I can give you a gift. OK? <laughs> <laughs> and if you choose to include him, that's your business. I, <laughs> 
<laughs> Travel and Leisure named this Hawaii's resort. It's a top resort uh, this year. You're getting a six-night stay at Koakea Hotel and Resort in Hawaii and an oceanfront suite for you and a guest, should that be him. <laughs> We'll be back. Well, that was so much fun for me. Oh, that was, that was yeah. hilarious because when I said I called the ticket and you were hugging me so hard and I, I was know, trying I'm to like, turn oh. you around because you you didn't you were just hugging me and I was I like, he's behind you. <laughs> you got yeah. me crying again already. It, it was so <laughs> sweet though. What's it like? So that, that was the first time you saw each other in a while. That was the first Crazy. time seeing her on the screen. I was crying back there and I was like, no, get it together. My knees are shaking. I have to walk out. I'm like, I don't want to fall. Get it together. So when I came out, it. Nobody was here. The crowd wasn't here. The cameras, nothing. It was Aww. just me and her in that moment, and it was it was perfect. That's yeah. so sweet. And how's it been being back together again for a while? It's awesome. I mean, it was such a long time being apart. I just am so thankful that you guys gave us this opportunity to just be together again, and I'm just so happy he's home. It's so nice spending our time together. And so you're home for how long? For two years. Two years, so and at yes. some point you'll be deployed again. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I haven't checked in my job yet, uh -huh. so I don't know yet, but hopefully I'm just here for the next two years so that's I can so, spend as much time with her as I can. That's so great. All right, we have to take a break. We'll be back with Noah and Mora after this. <laughs> We're back with Mora and Noah. And so uh, we, we had you back because you're such a cute couple and it's Valentine's Day. What plans do you have for Valentine's Day? Our big plans, we really don't have any. <laughs> However, we're going to go to the store, get some food, cook dinner, you know, throw our phones away, throw, turn the TV off, and just reconnect. You know, we've been gone. I've been gone for a year. Yeah. And I just want to reconnect with her. You know, the little things are what's important. That's the best kind of night. That yeah. is going to be great. All right, we got you a little something. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. That's cute, right? Yes. All right. And also, our friends at Shutterfly love supporting military families. They want to help you create memories by giving you $10,000. <laughs> so... <laughs> you are welcome. That was three years ago. Can you believe that was no! three years ago? Oh, oh my no. God, I can't believe it's yeah. been that long. And you were just <laughs> like dating yesterday. then, and now you're engaged? Yes, yes we are. So sure are. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How did that happen and how long have you been engaged? Yeah, um, so I mean you gave us that awesome trip to Hawaii and it was literally like the best trip of our life and to make it even better, Noah proposed. <laughs> yeah. I, I used all the, the money I was gifted from the Valentine's Day special and luckily I was able to pick a beautiful ring and ask her father for permission and he granted it and I proposed on the beach in Hawaii. So it was, it was a beautiful time. That's fantastic. And we were talking about then that y'all spent a long time apart right when you, you know, got together. Yeah. And then during the pandemic, you were apart for a year and a half? Yeah, something like that. So Noah was stationed overseas and um, I was here, obviously, um, um, working in my floor um, in the hospital as a COVID floor. So we were totally isolated over like the past over a year, we have only seen each other for two weeks, so. Right. Two it weeks during tough. that entire time. During the whole entire year. So there's a lot of FaceTime dates. There's a lot of just encouraging her to keep her spirits up, take every task at one, one at a time. And I was her soundboard, just being far away. I, I couldn't love on her, I couldn't hold her, couldn't kiss her, couldn't make her tell her that her day would be better tomorrow. But FaceTime was our, was our ultimate. Wow, I mean, that's a lot to, to withstand that. Um, and so when is the wedding? Um, so originally it was supposed to be April 3rd, 2021. Um, Which is 4321. Yeah. Just count down to <laughs> yep. Copeland, I my like last it. name, but obviously, go ahead. Yeah, so we, we postponed just because of COVID and he was he was stuck overseas and he wasn't going to even be able to make it. So, so now there's no date. Uh, July 2nd, 2022, fingers okay. crossed. All right. <laughs> um, and so what's weird is that, you know, our producer, Nicole, after the show, she became really good friends, and she's even going to be a bridesmaid in your wedding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> she, I mean, I don't think we should wait. Hey, hey, Nicole. Yeah, it feels like, I mean, she's she's in the bridesmaid's dress. That's the one you picked out, right? Yes. All right, so she's in it, and uh, and we're here, and I don't think we should wait. And, I mean, the only thing that's missing is the families. back 
with Noah and Mara, and uh, they have had to push their wedding back because of Noah's work in the Navy, so I'm going to marry them now. And uh, I don't mean the, the three of us. I'm not going to. The two of them are getting married. I'm going to officiate. Okay, so thanks to the internet earlier today, I am now the ordained minister. I also spent two hours watching cat videos. They're cute. Oh. Okay. I love cats. Me too. They're so adorable. All right, um, I don't know what your religious affiliation is, but don't worry, this is a, the book I'm holding is not a Bible. It's, it's my best selling memoir. Seriously, I'm kidding. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's get started. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Actually, that's not true. We're gathered here for my show, but we're also doing a wedding. I know this is a surprise to both of you, so I went ahead and I prepared uh, vows for both of you. So, Noah, here's yours. Thank you. Okay, Noah, you can start. Morn, Mora, you are as beautiful as Ellen. Yes, okay. <laughs> that was nice of you to say. <laughs> Mora, go ahead. Noah, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you even though men are gross and icky. <laughs> also, I'm as beautiful as Ellen. <laughs> oh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, now it's time for the rings. Can we get the rings? Oh, my friends at K Jewelers were nice enough to gift you with the oh! brilliant Diamond Leo <laughs> wedding bands. Oh. Thank you. All right, go ahead and put those on. They're beautiful, and that's because Kay is the number one jeweler retailer in America. Let's move on to the serious part. Noah, do you take Mara to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Mara, do you take Noah to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. If anyone has, uh, has reason, these two should not wed. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> it's very rude to speak up during someone's wedding. Plus, you don't even know them. All right, by the power vested in me under the laws of 10MinuteOrdainedMinister.com, I now pronounce your husband and wife, you may now kiss. <laughs> All right. And now that you're married, we want to give you a wedding gift. K Jewelers is honored to be a part of your love story and every kiss to come, and they want to send you on your dream honeymoon and a check for $10,000. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you.